Welcome back to the channel. We have some Apple news. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just Welcome back to the channel. From time to time, I love to make a video like this where I just kind of go through some of the current events with Apple, some of the news that's out there and just see what we can find. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I have, I think, nine different stories from Apple or Apple-related stories, and I'm just gonna go through them, share my screen here. So if you're interested in Apple product or services, some of these may interest you, some may not, can't do much about it, but stay tuned, let's get into the video, starting with number one. All right, story number one. Some of the MacBook Pro models, either the 14 inch or the 16 inch, are showing huge delays in deliverability. So before it was a couple weeks, and now it's looking like some of the top end models are close to a couple months away from actually the time you order to the time they can deliver them. Apple's blaming it looks like right here. You know, obviously the pandemic that's going on in China right now, I guess it's getting worse there and they're shutting it down in a lot of the different cities and stuff over there. So looks like overall uh, there's a big delay on the 14 and 16 inch models. Typically the higher end are the more custom models they're saying. So if you have to have them customized, just keep a note of that. If you're going to be ordering this, you know, for maybe the fall or something, start your ordering process soon. All right, story number two is actually the 13-inch MacBook Pro, which is the M1 version of it. Obviously, it's got the only last surviving one with the touch bar and what have you, so it's going to be an older model, the older design. But it's actually on, on sale right now for $12.49. It looks like it's, you know, it says it's on Amazon. You will not see this. Let me see here. You won't see the price deal until you check out. I mean, obviously, this could go away by the time you watch the video, so I'm not sure. But it got down to $12.49, and that's actually for the 512 gigabyte version with the 512 gigabyte SSD. So that's actually quite a bit lower. It usually is about $1,500 for that. Obviously, 8 gigs of RAM still, and is that if you're not in this day and age, it's going to be up to you. Still, for $12.49, $512, not a bad deal because it's got the M1 chip in it. You got to decide, uh, it's, it's, you maybe wait for the next one. I'm not sure. All right, so the next one is going to be if you use an iPad. It says iMovie for iOS. You need iOS. It could be on your phone, I guess. Updated with Magic Movie and Storyboards option. And uh, Final Cut Pro optimized for Mac Studio. We'll get into that in a second. So it looks like it says Apple says the Magic Movie function instantly creates custom videos from clips and photos a user selects with transition effects and music automatically added. Storyboards help users learn to edit and improve their video storytelling skills with pre-made templates. I mean, I guess this is kind of similar to what they had before, but if you're trying to just get into video editing, um, you know, and you have an iPad or something, check it out. Look for Magic Movie or story, well, let me see, your Storyboards, and it should help you get started on that. Just something new that came out. They had something like that earlier, but it's a little bit different. All right, another story is the Mac Mini. Again, this is another question. Should you get this or not? It's going to have the original M1 chip and also the, you know, obviously 8 gigs of RAM. It's at its lowest price right now, it said ever. It says $569, which is a really good price on that. So $569, it says you won't see the deal until you add Mac Mini to your cart again, and then an automatic coupon worth $99.01 will apply to the order. Again, this is probably for U.S. people and is as of today, but use that kind of price point. $569.99 is kind of, a, you know, where you want to be then if you're going to buy that. Maybe wait for that price to come back if you can't find it. Uh, if you're in a different country, maybe see if you can get that. So I just wanted to say, hey, you know, it's 129 bucks off. It's down to that low. Again, you only got the 8 gigs of RAM on it, but it's still not a bad deal if you're looking for just kind of a good home computer, you know, with the M1 chip. All right, this one's interesting if you actually want kind of a new browser. I mean, I know a lot of people here use Safari, maybe Chrome. Chrome's had a lot of issues lately with security. It looks like DuckDuckGo browser for Mac is going to be launching in beta or did launch in beta with emphasis on privacy and speed. So you have to kind of look for this, but it says DuckDuckGo is launching today an all-new browser for Mac OS that's in beta. You kind of have to be invited to go ahead and try it out right now. So you can go ahead and search for that online if you want to do that. But just think about it. It's a new browser by DuckDuckGo, which obviously is going to be more of a kind of a free speech type browser. It's going to be probably faster as well, a lot faster than Chrome. I'm not sure it's going to be faster than, you know, Safari. But if you're looking for that alternative that doesn't really like kind of like parse the information uh, as much as maybe Google does, check it out, DuckDuckGo. All right, the next story I'd like to talk about this is Mac shipments. It looks like they're up in quarter one of 2022. So believe it or not, Apple now has 9% of the market share. I can show you in this graph here. So they're about 9%. And, uh, you know, obviously, let me see here, it used to be about 7.7% .7 in 2021, so they jumped that much. It looks like Lenovo and HP are both dropping quite a bit. They're actually dropping, 
let me see here, 12 and about 12.6 percent and 17.8 percent. Um, Dell's increased about 5 percent or so, and their market share is 17.7 percent. But you know, if you look at the graph, Lenovo is obviously number one as far as what they're shipping: HP, then Dell, then Apple. But the first two are going down. Apple and Dell are going up. So we might see a change here. Just interesting. I mean, nine percent is is not a huge part of the market, but but for the cost of Apple equipment, it's you know it's pretty impressive. All right, the next story is just kind of a, a possible product coming out. This one's by, you know, it looks like it's a Charger Lab is the person that put this out. It says they're basically it's a rumored dual USB port or USB C port charger allegedly shown in leaked images. So is Apple creating a dual port USB C charger? I don't know why we'd be so excited about this anyway, but it's just something that's going to finally be something that Apple probably should have made a long time ago. Just it's nice to have two USB ports if you want to charge a laptop or you want to charge a phone or something. Something like that. In any case, it says 35 watt would be suitable for charging, so it looks like it would be a 35 watt, a wide range of Apple devices such as iPhones, iPads, and the latest MacBook Airs and the HomePad Mini. So I'm not sure. It says in early March, let me just see here, they're working on a 30 watt adapter. So it's not exactly clear. It looks like it's going to be 35 watts, you know, take that with a grain of salt. It could change, but at the end of the day, it would be nice to have something with just two ports instead of one finally, and Apple should have done this a long time ago. All right, the next story, if you're actually an Apple Watch lover and you've been waiting for this feature, it's not here yet. It says Apple won't gain blood pressure sensor until at least 2024. So that's the minimum it looks like. Um, so the, the ability to warn a person on high blood pressure looks like it's coming out, you know, mid to late 2024. And... Uh, Anyways, it's it still could be a couple years away, and I don't know why, but there are a lot of people are kind of, I mean, I know why people are waiting for it. I just don't know why it's so hard for them to kind of, you know, get this into the watch. So if you're waiting for that feature, it's going to be a little bit longer, but at least it looks like Apple's going to be adding it. All right, and then the final story is it says, Final Cut Pro compressor in motion updated with better Mac Studio performance. So if you bought the Mac Studio, test it out. I saw some graphs. I can, I see if I can post it, if I can find the graphs in here. But it looked like it was only a few seconds. Like one project that used to take on, on the Mac Studio was like three minutes and 20-something seconds, and then it went down to about three minutes on the project. So, I mean, I don't know what that comes out to, but it's, you know, maybe 5% or something. It ends up being not the biggest change in the world, but it did definitely help make it a little bit faster for everyone. So, so if you use Final Cut Pro compressor or motion, you know, definitely check that out. If you have a Mac Studio, it looks like they're kind of, you know, working on getting it even faster with that device just because it can work with those extra cores. Um, and, uh, you know, that's really all there is to that story as far as just, you know, most people, aren't, this isn't going to apply to people because most people won't have it and most people won't, you know, well, let me just see what it says here. It says graphical performance on M1 Max and M1 Ultra chips. So I guess those are the chips that it's targeting. So at the end of the day, I'm guessing most people probably don't have those yet. But if they do and you know, use those type of products, check it out. All right. Well, that's the end of today's video. Sorry about the short video. Um, and uh, we'll continue with some of the other product videos. and We'll get some more products in-house. Just like these videos every once in a while because it keeps me interested in what's coming out. lets me do a little research, finding out what I want to do videos on coming up soon. And uh, overall, it's just fun for me. So thanks again. Subscribe if you can. We'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.